All right, it is 623. It is time for today's talker. All right, um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of Elon Musk. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired of talking about him. I never liked Twitter. I still don't like <laughs> it. I don't. I'm sorry. We are talking about him once again. Uh, again. Yeah. Some Twitter users are upset over the social media platform's latest change. Users now have limits on how many posts they can view each day. Verified accounts are limited to reading 6,000 posts a day. That sounds like a lot. It does. Wait. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got questions. But unverified accounts can read 600 posts a day. And new accounts are limited to 300 posts a day. Okay, so CEO Elon Musk says the restrictions prevent unauthorized scraping of valuable data. The new rule locked out thousands of users over the weekend. The policy change is only temporary, but after facing backlash, Musk said he would raise the limit of how many tweets hmm. accounts can read each day. How do you even monitor this? I, I just don't understand why you would put a limit on what you can read. Maybe how much you can tweet a day, but why about how much you can read a day? Yeah. And is it by scroll, like the amount of posts you see while scrolling yeah. or actually clicking on? Yeah, you know I saying? don't know. Good question. I wonder if, if is if every tweet that you see registers because Probably. you know a lot of video videos are looked by impressions. You, mm -hmm. you yeah. get the, you know how they keep those metrics. You look at it for one second, yeah. they count it as a view or what have you. Maybe this is something similar. I know there's a lot of uproar in the weather community because Twitter is actually used as a way to get immediate weather information mm -hmm. out. A lot yeah. of the National Weather Service offices, uh, emergency management, they do auto yeah. tweets, yeah. and this impacts people's ability to see that information. So a lot of folks concerned about that. Right. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, this is just very confusing to me, this whole situation and yeah. why you would limit how much people can read out yeah. there. Have y'all seen some, uh, people were talking about another social media platform this weekend. Did y'all see that? Blue mm -hmm. Sky, or, I believe it was. Is it called it Blue called. Sky? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going off the top of my head here. Why do I want to say it was formed by some former Twitter employees? Oh, okay. I think, but it still hasn't been released yet. So oh, okay. it's still kind of in beta. But I There's, did hear about that too from some folks in over. the weather community because okay. a lot of it folks is, might be hopping. We'll see what happens. Yeah. It's social media. Things are always changing. Yeah. All right. Anywho, the organization that produces the Oscars is adding some A-list names to its membership roster. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has invited Taylor Swift, Kiki Palmer, and Oscar winner uh, Keo Kwan to become members. Kiki Palmer was one of the actors who some critics say was overlooked and snubbed by the Academy earlier this year after a standout performance in Jordan Peele's Nope. Yeah, and Swift garnered Oscar buzz in her own right for the 2023 season with her direct directorial debut on All Too Well, the short film, but did not end up receiving an Oscar nod. Kwan is being invited to join the Academy after winning the Best Supporting Actor Oscar in March for his role, of course, in Everything Everywhere All at Once. Mm -hmm. and they are among 398 artists who are receiving invites. I mean... It's a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. Getting yeah. recognition for it. I know uh, Kiki Palmer, at least, she's been acting since she was little, little, little yeah, right? yeah, like a little girl. So it, I mean, it's good to see people who have been yeah. putting in the work get and recognized. And I for loved it. her, and no, yeah. she just she is yeah. such a great actor, actress. Her personality and everything, mm -hmm. she was great, and so much deserved to her. So, and yeah. I didn't even know Taylor Swift directed something, me but I was she, like, that she's was, working hard. That was Look at that. To me. But good uh, for her. And then Kihu Kwan, of course, uh, people were well always deserved. talking about that. Well yeah. deserved. Oh, yeah. I remember just uh, seeing his They Oscar. won that award and they were oh, all on the stage. Yeah. My goodness. I was yeah. sobbing during his acceptance yeah. speech. So speech. much deserved to all of them. Absolutely. All right. Fourth of July. Not a rain out like last year.